Hey guys, it's Josie and welcome to my very first get ready with me video. I am getting ready for homecoming and it's about a week and a half away, but I do need to try and fix how my dress fits me. The middle part where I need to take it in is made out of a mesh fabric, so hopefully it works just fine. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to hand sew it or use my sewing machine. I still don't have shoes picked out, so I might be able to buy some, but I also might just have to use some that I already have. A week from today, my friend Allie is going to do my nails, Then a few days after that will be the day of homecoming. My sister is going to do my hair, so I will show you guys me actually getting ready then. So let's get into the video. Here is my homecoming dress. And what I did was I tried it on again and just taped where I wanted to take in the sides. I did this by just pinching the back as much as I needed to take in and then I put the tape on both sides of the dress on the outside of where my fingers were. And my original plan was to sew it at sort of an angle so I could take more in at the waist and then the farther it got up I would take in less but I ended up just making straight lines when I sewed and it ended up working out just fine so I didn't have to go back and fix anything but I wanted the skirt to be the way that it was and just take in from the waist up and the first time I sewed through I sewed a little bit of the tape so it made it a little hard to get it out but I ended up getting it out at the end and then I hand sewed the bottom where the waist met the skirt just so it would be a cleaner look and it would look like that was supposed to be there. You can see where I sewed a little strip on each side because the mesh is a little bit more opaque on either side of the zipper so that is the part that I took in just so it wouldn't be as noticeable if I tried to take it in from somewhere else and I also went back and sewed the very top of the cups closer together. ordered shoes off of Amazon because I could not find any in a couple of stores that we went to. The bottoms are all black and they have little ridges so that they're not slippery and the inside is just like this. I love that that is red too but they are like velvet material so they're the color velvet red. I will leave the link down below. I just got my nails done and they match the color red. They don't look like it on camera. They look more orange on camera, but they really do match the flowers pretty perfectly. My sister just did my hair. I will insert a clip here of what it looks like. I apologize for the bad lighting. I do have a mirror with lights on it but it needs an outlet and there isn't one that's close enough for the cord to reach over here but I have my window light from here and then my room light over here so if you see me turning either way that's why. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows that are currently hidden by my bangs. I'm gonna do eyeliner and 
maybe eyeshadow. Let me get my eyeshadow thing out and see if there's a color I want to use. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with my normal gold color in here and I mix it with a little bit of this lighter one that's like almost yellowish gold just so that it's a little bit more natural looking and it's not too dark or too light. Then I like to go into the inner corners and just do a little bit of white eyeshadow. I have this Beauty Intuition Throw Shade Palette. It's metallic in my eyeshadow palette and I got it as a gift for my birthday ago the colors look like this there's like burgundy and tannish colors and also a gold on here so I'm gonna use that color as well Over here, I just used this gold one, which is a metallic one. Then I'm gonna use this lightish colored one. This is a little hack I like to do since I don't have concealer. I like to use matte eyeshadow that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone just so I can fix my under eye bags. So here's for the before and after. This side is the side that I applied the eyeshadow on and I haven't done this side yet. So you can still see there's a very clear eye bag here. This one isn't as noticeable. back in with a white shimmery eyeshadow so I can do the inner corners again um, closer to here because when I put it on the first time it was more up on my eyelid and so then I just like to add some right in here too. Okay, now that that's done, I can do my mascara and my eyeliner. So I just have the Great Lash Mascara in the color Blackest Black.
like to do a little wing and I like to use the like felt tip liquid liners. fix my bangs again but here is the final makeup look now I just have to get my dress on and then I'm going to get pictures done with my boyfriend and then go to the dance I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. If you want to see the pictures, they are posted on my Instagram, which is linked down below and also in the banner of my YouTube channel. And if you want to see more, you can like and subscribe down below as well, or leave a comment on something you want to see next and have a nice day.